Early in the morning. What's going on, the people? It's your boy Cam Topical Juice, and we are back with another episode of Love Island. This one's uh, this one's an interesting one. We got some we got some we got some points to talk about. So let's just get straight into this video, man. I'm gonna done the waffling thing. I'm gonna keep these videos quite short and snappy, cause boy, they're just long at it. It's just long watching it. It's just long, right? Even though we like trash TV, I ain't gonna lie. I like the trash TV. It's fun, but then you only got to work and. Sometimes I just want to chill, so <laughs> let's get straight into this video, man. Like the video for me, hit the bell to be notified for me. Please press that subscribe button for me. It's Rota 50k, all of that, all of that. Anyway, the episode starts with the aftermath of the game, and Georgia and Toby get a bit snippy. I, I don't actually know what happened, I forgot. I, I just wrote down Georgia and Toby, and I expected I was going to remember what that meant. Josh and Tyler have a conversation, and Josh basically talks, tells Tyler that he clocked Molly pull away. So <laughs> it's peak for Josh now. His only chance is this new girl Sophie, because otherwise he ain't got no chance. He clocked in the game that Molly like pulled away when he kissed her, but when Toby kissed her, she was all in, guns blazing, diving in. Ooh, I'm about to one of them ones. That's listen. <laughs> he clocked it. So he then he then he said something random about he thinks he's still into Georgia, and the reason he didn't kiss. Georgia in the in the game is because he's into her. What? What? <laughs> what the fuck is you talking about, man? What the fuck is you talking about, man? Like, I, I don't understand. He says he wants to go back there, but doesn't really show much interest in pursuing that. Not that we saw on the camera anyway. And when he goes on his date with Sophie, he even says, "Yeah, that's dead in the water." Molly and Toby speak, and this is—it's it, so funny, yeah. This, this show, this Love Island show, this Love Island experiment, it's such an interesting concept because it really demonstrates human nature when it comes to dating and dating multiple people. It's like, you know when you're talking to someone, you really feel like you're the only one in the world that's had that conversation with them or the only one in the world that can evoke that feeling in them. But then two minutes later, the next scene, you're seeing the girl that you like or the girl that you've got chemistry with, got the same chemistry with the next man. <laughs> it's, it's a cold world out here, man. You know, especially when you're my age, you know, you're coming up to 30 years old, like every, you, you're, you're never going to be someone's first encounter in any shape, way, way, shape or form, you know what I'm saying? They're going to have fallen in love with someone else before you, they're going to have liked other people before you, they're going to have found other people more attractive than you or have found people attractive before finding you attractive. It's just, it's just mad seeing it in real life, isn't it? Like connecting with someone and then 20 seconds later, you're seeing that same girl or the same boy moving on to someone else, having the same chemistry in the villa. It's just nuts. It's a mad experiment still, but... Either way, Molly and Toby have this little conversation and they kind of say that they fancy each other, they kind of like each other. And Toby actually says, you make me feel kind of nervous. And I was detecting that, to be honest. I was getting that feeling before he said that. I could just tell he was a little bit like, obviously not, not he wasn't shook. He was still charming and all like, confident, but it was like, I could tell he was a little bit like, just a little nervous, isn't it? Um, Callum and G speak. And this G is so funny here yeah, because she's like me. She shortens everyone's names. Any scene I'm with, with any any scene you see with Georgia, you, you're either hearing someone being called Tobes, someone being called Cow, <laughs> someone being called Libs. I don't know. It's funny about these jokes, but Callum and uh, she just starts saying that she's scared, and she doesn't, she doesn't really know what she's scared about. And I'll tell you what she's scared about. She's scared in that moment. She was scared of losing Toby. Now, we're not going to talk about Tom until he comes in, but in that moment, she was scared of losing Toby and wanted to use Callum to get back at Toby. I'm being honest, man. She ain't, she ain't that interested in Callum, bro. She really ain't. And they end up kissing, and I was happy for him, but, it, but it's just not... She's not that interested in my man. I'm telling you, she's not. Like, she knows that he's got good qualities in him, but he is way more interested in Georgia, Georgia than she is in him. She would prefer to go with Toby over him and now she prefers to go to Tom over him. It's crazy. Anyway, Hannah and Tyler speak. Now, this whole Hannah and Tyler situation, yeah, I'm not being funny. I actually agree with Tyler in the sense that it was 60-40. I don't think she planned to kiss him up there, but in that moment, it, it definitely was a 60-40 a type thing because I think she, didn't she knock him or something or hit it or... I, I, something happened a minute, like something happened I can't remember on the terrace and they like giggle into each other and they look up and they kind of just go for the kiss and then she then instigates another kiss I'm sure 
Or they, or they both just get another kiss. And either way, she came down when she was... I mean, I'm jumping a bit ahead here, but the feedback she gave to everyone else was, I didn't, I didn't see it coming. I didn't see it, I promise. I didn't see it coming. He caught me off guard. <laughs> no, she literally, literally was saying, oh, I didn't even expect it this, that. But she just made it seem that it was purely... It was completely all Tyler's fault. But either way, it's not like it's a bad thing anyway. But they end up... Um, they're just talking and she explains that, yeah, all these people in here are my sons. You know what I'm saying? I'm the auntie here. These, I'm just family, family zone, these motherfuckers. Um, and it, the reality is, is because no one's actually moved to her. No one's stuck it on her. Tyler's the first person to take any sort of interest. So she's, she's obviously going to be down. Um, and they end up kissing, obviously. And she tells him, All right, are you going to be more public now? Are you going to be a bit more vocal? Are you going like, to start showing me that you're onto me publicly? Um, which I was, I was happy that she stuck it on my man. Because after she says, oh, we need to talk to Kaz, my man says, yeah, I need to navigate this the right way. He must have been rehearsing that lyric in the mirror before he came in the villa about, oh, yeah, oh, I, mean, I need to navigate this the right way. Like, that's, that's, his, like, that's, that's his sentence to kind of get around his type of behaviour. Now, he hasn't actually done anything wrong. He hasn't done anything wrong moving to Hannah, but just don't lead Kaz on in it. So Tyler and Toby talk and he tells him that he kissed Hannah and Kaz, um, Toby's like tell them now and it talk to them, talk to them, talk to them. So Tyler and Kaz speak and he just tells her what's what and he says yeah we kissed or whatever <laughs> like um yeah I just licked her tit or whatever. <laughs> but yeah he's just saying oh they kissed or whatever and um, Kaz is just like yeah thanks for letting me know like do your thing and it get to know each other and I got no problem with that man like Kaz maintain your composure, maintain your shame, you know all that, all that you're doing very well, maintain your dignity. D dead it bun it off you ain't got to do all that um and he even said oh yeah because he's, he's trying to play the game this is what this is what fake and real this, this is the difference between fake and real when he's like oh yeah um i feel like maybe there's a conversation for us to be had because uh, maybe there's something in the future that's manufactured that's some producer-led storyline type bs she just said yeah th that conversation don't need to be had as in that's what real looks like and that's what versus what fake looks like tyler is fake yeah you, you know you don't even like Kaz, but you're still having to spin that little narrative for the cameras and, oh yeah, maybe we can have that conversation. She's like, no, <laughs> like, what? no, we're good here. So yeah, that's, you just you saw trillness versus bullshit, like firsthand. So Liberty then starts to pressure Tyler. Oh, you know, don't boy my friend. You said you'd put energy into it and uh, whatever, man. Hannah keeps saying that she, um, that, it was Tyler that stuck it on him and um, on her, and she got caught off guard. It was came out of nowhere. Oh, fucking hell, it came out of nowhere. Um, it definitely didn't. There was a lot of chemistry there. Anyway, the next morning comes around, and George, Georgia H. Pff, oh yeah, listen, where's I ain't got no liquor upstairs, but if we if I, if I had a bottle of liquor right now, pour one out, man. Pour one out for um, for, for my man Anton. You got to pour pour some liquor, man. R.I.P. Anton. He's finished, and it's a shame because. I said this yesterday, man. I said this yesterday. She, she weren't interested. Well, she she said it yesterday, should I say. She said it in the episode yesterday. She weren't that interested in my man. The spark weren't there. And I said in yesterday's episode, if she carries on like doing all the cuddly thing, she's definitely leading man on 100%. That's even more evidenced today. Whatever. You know what I'm trying to say. That's even more the case today. So she needs to lock it off with Anton now. ASAP. Before. Because he, he, here's, here's my man. <clears throat> Anton. Oh, fuck's sake. Anton's sitting here um, in the morning talking about wow, wow, the exact same time she's saying, yeah, I've got the ick. Really, she was thinking, she was saying, my, in her head, she was saying, my man's cringy. Like, he's soft. He's bringing me my tea in the morning, but I don't really want all that. I need my cheeky chappy. I need my Josh. Josh is charming. I'm, I've got, I'm wet for Josh. Where's Josh? Oh, I need Josh. She's thinking about Josh, boy. But either way, he's sitting there saying, yeah, this is great. Like, usually I feel like I'm being friend zoned, but now I've got this under the thumb. Under the thumb. <sighs> or, or what do you say, under the thumb? Or, or, or boot, I got my boot on it under the boot or something. I don't know. Either way, I was just like, Jesus, this ain't good. Operation under the thumb or some shit. Molly just explains how she ain't interested in Josh. Arabella grills Mitch and, and he says he he's still open about being lit with Liberty. And again, Liberty, come on, man. Just re rein this in. Wrap this up. Wrap this up like a, like a Christmas present, man. Wrap this. Wrap this like a chicken burrito, man. But, yeah. The mandem basically think Mitch ain't onto Liberty. And I think it's Anton 
later in the episode basically says i don't fuck with mitch at all i think he's i think he's fake i think he's this all he talks about is instagram followers this and they say yeah because that's what he's on what broski the guy was on the last season of love island what do you think he's gonna do bro like he's 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 back here again what do you think he's on what do you think his intentions are what to find love anyway the new love island has come through and it's sophie from season six i can't remember her to be honest she's quite pretty from essex and then you've got sawdust tom so we've got sawdust callum and we got Sawdust Tom. Oh my days. I think Tom was part of the, wasn't he part of the, the um, fruit salad crew with uh, Lord Farquaad and um, Fruity, Fruity Will? And they end up just having a whole treesome of fruit fruitiness. <laughs> I don't know for them, man. But yeah, um, Tom, all the ladies love Tom, you know. He's apparently got some history with Arabella and Georgia, which we'll get to in a minute, but... I don't know. But the first thing Georgia said was, yeah, I'm going to use Tom to get Toby jealous, basically. And Callum's just going out sad, man. Callum's going out sad. You've got his ex, Molly, now interested in Tom. You've got his current girl, Georgia, interested in Tom. Madness. Absolute madness. Like, he's going out real sad. And I just hope Molly don't get Tom. I don't want her to get her happy ever after, to be honest, if Callum can't get his. You feel me? So, but, um... Yeah, then they they go on three dates. Sophie said she ain't ever been cooked for. Like, what? What? These Love Islanders, are, they act like they're brand new. They act like they ain't ever had no experiences in their life. What do you mean? Someone said, oh, has, has a man ever cooked for you before? And she said, no. Like, how? What? Not once. <laughs> in any capacity. A friend, a romantic. What? No, in, not once has a man cooked for you ever. Like, right, come on, man. Um, Arabella basically... Uh, correct me if I'm wrong here, but what... What was Arabella and Tom's conversation about? Because she was basically saying, yeah, we had a situation ship, but I had a man. Sorry? Come again? Oh? So I, but you were, you were kind of off limits. So what, what's this chemistry or what's this dynamic that you were talking about or alluding to if you had a man? This is what I'm saying. These whores are loyal. <laughs> No nah, man, you, you can't be serious. This is what I'm saying. Even with people in relationships, they got all this chemistry with next man, and you know, but they were off limits, and they couldn't act on it. And it's just like, rah. Why you think man's been single for seven years, bro? Molly and Tom have a good date, and I can tell they fancy each other. She's very interested in getting to know my man. He's definitely interested in her, but we'll have to see because him and G, they do have a chemistry as well, and he managed to get the girl to sit on his lap. Oh my days! She's literally kissing Callum the same day earlier that day or the day or the day before or whatever i can't remember and the next day she's sitting on next man's lap no problem like this is it. listen i know it's a very toxic um saying to say but bro she was never yours it was just your turn in it <laughs> and it, listen the same thing applies for matt for mandem girls it, he was never yours it was just your turn yeah toxic or not that saying is fucking true in this life man male or female they're never, they were never yours, man. It was just your turn. Enjoy it while it lasts because someone else is going to swoop in and, and just enjoy it after you, fam. <laughs> but anyway, man, Sophie and Toby get on well. Um, it's good to see them cracking on and whatnot. But yeah, ultimately, G and Tom have some energy and I'm looking forward to, to seeing how that transpires. But uh, I'm sure I missed out a couple of things, but I'm tired, man. I'm trying to get this, trying to get this Romeo done. You get me? Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts and I'll see you lot tomorrow. Peace.